Hi everyone, this is Kate from Crocoblog. Have you heard the latest news? Yep, you got it right. Crocoblog just recently released Jet Engine 2.2 update with its new functionalities and cool features. And today I'd like to show you how to customize front-end post submission with the help of User Profile Builder. This functionality is implemented by a separate module, just like QR code, forms, calendar, etc. And it gives you the opportunity to build a dynamic user profile which is user editable, has unlimited number of account pages, gives extended abilities for users, now they can add and edit their posts within your website, and much more. So guys, shall we get started? Let's follow to Jet Engine dashboard and enable two necessary modules, Forms and Profile Builder. Don't forget to click Save button. At the moment, Profile Builder works only with configured permalinks, so you can either customize the account yourself or import the configuration part from the preset. I'll use the second option, so I'll have to follow to Skins Manager, click on Presets and import the user profile with editable content. This part will allow registered users to publish and edit their posts. And please pay attention that the permalinks have to be updated to finalize the process. So let's go to permalink settings and resave permalink structure. Simply click on save changes button. Yep, it's just that easy. By the way guys, we decided not to stop right here and edit another preset to widen the possibilities for your customers. We configured an editable user settings page for user profile. It can be imported in even an easier way, just point and click. Okay, so we successfully activated User Profile Builder functionality. Let's check how to create the user account. Follow to Jet Engine, Profile Builder. We've got two sections here, Pages and Account Page. Pages section allows to select the page that will be used as the account page for a current user. It is set to Account by default, this page has been automatically added to your dashboard within the preset, and we recommend using it to avoid issues with messed up pre-customized pages and lost info. Here you can add a public page for all user list. Basically, it enables a default page with a general listing of website users and allows to select the page for it. Also, you can add a public page for a single user and select the basic public page for it, as well as select the way permalinks of the user's public page will be built – by username, by nickname, or by user ID. One more thing that you can do is select the way subpage templates will be processed – using just templates or using the page content. And of course, you get to decide whether you'd like to hide the admin bar for non-admin users or not. OK, I've got it all set, and now let's proceed to the account page section. First of all, I'd like to mention that this is not the actual account page, it is more of a structure of the account. It's pretty basic, but you can set it up to your tastes and needs. Here you can select what to do when non-authorized users try to access account page. Going further, you can see a block with four subpages and a possibility to create as many new pages as you want. You just need to click on Add New Subpage button and fire your imagination. These ones have been automatically imported within the preset and are fully editable. Here we can enter the title of the subpage, then the page slug, select Elementor or Listing Item Template to show on the current page, which has also been imported to your dashboard, and you can find and edit it in the Templates section, Saved Templates. There's also a possibility to hide a subpage from the menu if needed. For example, Edit Post Page is not needed in the Account menu panel. We will add a dynamic link for this page in the User Post Item listing. Just so you know, here's how the default account page looks like on the front end. Pretty basic, isn't it? So I decided to spice it up a little bit. There we go. Now better. As you might have guessed, it has been created with the help of Jet Engine Forms functionality. And what's neat about this feature is that now customers can not only submit the forms, but also edit them on the front end. Let me show you how to enable this function. Let's go to Jet Engine Forms. As you can see, we already have a couple of forms imported with Profile Builder. 
I'll use the new post and edit post forms as an example. These two forms are almost 100% the same except for some tiny little changes that are very important though. Let me show you what I mean. So let's edit the new post form. It's a car sales submission form. Here are all the fields of the form itself and yes, I had to spend some time to build them all. Now what's important here is the notification settings block. Click on add notification, select notification type insert update post, post type the CPT that you'll be using for the user posts, in my case it's ads. Post status published and very carefully set the post properties and meta field names. Yeah guys, it has to be done manually. I agree, not a very fun thing to do, but as they say, no pains, no gains. And don't forget that fields with post meta have to be mapped using the meta field key that you set up within the custom post type meta field settings. I'd advise you to add another notification, redirect to page. So once the form is submitted, user is redirected to, let's say, account page automatically. Now update the form and go back to forms page in the dashboard. Let's open the edit post form. As you can see, it is completely the same as the previous one, except for the little checkbox, preset form field values. This really cool option has been added within the Jet Engine 2.2 update. You might think preset field values? Really? What can be so cool about it? Well, guys, I must say that your customers will absolutely love you for using this feature. Yes, you'll have to spend some time for setting it up, but the result is totally worth it. Let me show you what I mean. Once the preset form field value is enabled, it opens a variety of different settings. So you get to choose the source either from posts, user or URL query variables. Since I've created a form that basically transforms provided information into the user post, I need to choose the option post. Now here in the get post ID from field, I need to choose URL query variable. You might ask why? Well, that's because the info that will be shown in the fields of the form has to be pulled from the exact post of the customer, not just the most recent or random one. So in the next field, I need to enter the query variable name, post ID. Please keep in mind that we will have to enter this name in the settings of dynamic link widget in the Elementor page builder later. As for the notification settings, they should be similar to the ones in the previous form. But pay attention that you have to map the post ID field. Select post ID will update post option. Now let's update the form and proceed to the next step. We've got the form set and we are on the finish line. Isn't that great? Now we need to edit the existing user post item listing. As you might have guessed, it has been imported with the page builder presets as well. So let's go to Jet Engine, Listings, and click on the Edit with Elementor button. As you can see, I've added dynamic link widget here. You'll understand why in a bit. Proceed to the content section, select profile page as a source, then pick suitable account page template from the drop-down menu. Add the label and toggle add query arguments on. In the query arguments field, enter the following. Where post ID is the key, the same as query variable name we entered in the preset form field values block. Guys, please pay attention that they have to be the same in order for this link to work properly. And current ID is the macros for the current post from the grid that customer might need to add it. Now we can update the changes and proceed to the front end. So here's the user account page with the profile menu and a list of posts customer has already created. Okay, imagine that he's got a new car ready for sale. Let's place an ad. Yeah, I'll save you time with a little magic. All I have to do is click on the submit button. Remember that we set the redirect options in the dashboard. That's why it brought us back to the account page.
And as you can see, here's our new ad and a wonderful edit button on the side. Let's say I'd like to change something in the existing post. For example, I messed up the price. Silly me. Let's click on edit button. Yeah, it's all preset now. There is no need to remove the post and submit it one more time with the correct data. I can just change the price and save changes. Isn't that lovely? Let me know if you liked the new format of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to add comments below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful videos and check out our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!